Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my tech slash programming setup and why I've invested so much money into creating this. Now, personally, I work for anywhere from eight to 10 hours a day in this chair sitting at this computer. So for me, this setup better be pleasant and it better be a place that I am comfortable sitting down in for long periods of time. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the different equipment I have, discussing why I've purchased that specific item, as well as giving you some tips for when you're building your programming setup, a few things you may wanna look out for, and a few items that you need to have. So with that being said, let's get into the video and talk about my programming and tech setup. So in my opinion, there are five essential items that everyone needs when setting up a programming setup. Now, these are the items that I think you should be buying first that should have the largest budget allocated to them. And there's something that you absolutely cannot cheap out on. Now, I'm going to discuss those in just a second, but I want to quickly go on a little tangent here and talk about software. Now, a lot of people think that having a nice setup is all about hardware. And that is, you know, partially true. You want to have a really good, clean looking setup with the best tech and all of that. But having good software and configuring your system properly is very important as well. And this leads me into actually the sponsor of today's video, which is Kite. Now, Kite is a free plugin for your IDE or text editor that uses machine learning to give you the best possible completions for your Python code. It's capable of completing entire lines, entire function calls, and it ranks all of its completions by relevance so you get shown the best ones first. It even has another feature called Intelligent Snippets, which allows you to quickly tab through the different options and choose which completion you'd like. One of the coolest features that comes with Kite is called Copilot. Now what Copilot does is provide one-click documentation. It shows you information about modules, classes, methods, and functions based on your cursor location. Now the best part of Kite is that it's free and you can download it at the link below. All right, so without further ado, let's talk about my five essential items for a programming setup. Now, the first item that I'm going to talk about is the computer. Now, this might be kind of obvious to you guys, but personally, I like working on a desktop computer, as you can see behind me, but I do actually have two laptops. Now, I recommend that if you have the budget to, and if you're going to be working mostly from home, you invest in a nice desktop machine. Now, the reason I like a desktop machine is personally because I like to be able to have the keyboard wherever I like. I like to have the monitors kind of spread out nice on my desk, and I do actually like the aesthetic of my computer. I'm not sure if you guys see it. I'll try to do like a few little video clips in between here so you get an idea of what it looks like but this is a custom built machine it was about twenty five twenty six hundred dollars when I built it back in 2017 and it's a top of the end um, computer you know it's nothing crazy but it gets the job done and you need to definitely have a fast machine that you like working with when you're setting up a programming setup so whether that's gonna be a laptop or a desktop I'm not gonna judge you too much if you decide on a laptop make sure you have a nice machine make sure you like it and make sure when you're using it it's a pleasant experience now the next most important item here is the keyboard. Now, if you're working on a desk surface at home and you have a laptop, I'd highly recommend you buy yourself a very nice keyboard. Now, personally, I used to use a Cherry MX Red keyboard, which was okay, um, but as soon as I bought this new keyboard, which was about 250 Canadian dollars, I saw a massive increase in my efficiency and just my desire to want to type. So personally, this keyboard that you guys are looking at now has brown switches in it. It's a Dask Key 4Q um, something I'll try to put the model up somewhere and it's just a very very nice keyboard I actually try to find excuses to type on it because I love it so much now having a nice keyboard is really important as well because obviously that's what you're gonna be using the most while you're programming so just making sure that you know you're pleasant with that you like it and you're comfortable with the keyboard that you have now the next most important item, and this might come as a surprise, is your chair. Now this is my personal opinion, but I used to work in a metal back chair, just a really crappy chair, and it was absolutely horrible. Not only did my back hurt, but it just, I didn't wanna sit in it, I'd put a pillow behind it so it was nicer. So the first thing I did when I got back home from the summer last year, which is where I had that chair, it was in my university residence, I bought myself the nicest, most expensive chair I could find. Now this chair right here, this is one you're looking at, I'll put up some things kind of talking about it. Um, it's very adjustable, it has a nice high back and it has a lumbar support which is what I kind of look for in a chair. I love sitting in this chair, it's extremely comfortable and even sometimes I find myself you know, kind of falling asleep in it when I'm reclining it too far back. So obviously the chair is important, something to consider and I would highly recommend that if you have a limited budget, you allocate a lot of it to your chair because this is where you're gonna be sitting for a large majority of time. The next most important item in my setup is going to be the monitors. Now, the two monitors that I have here are fairly expensive. They're not crazy. I have a 27-inch 4K monitor. LG, I think it was about 
$400. And then I have a 24 inch MSI monitor that's actually a gaming monitor that was about $300. So didn't go all out with the monitors, but I do really like the 27 inch display, especially when you're programming because you can have two windows up side by side. And I would definitely say that a second monitor is necessary to get work done efficiently. I personally have a very hard time working on laptops because I'm so used to working with two monitors and I just want to be dragging things back and forth between my screens and being able to reference things at the same time. And on those smaller screens, it's harder to split the windows up and down. So even if you're using a laptop, I would highly recommend that you consider buying a 24, a 27 inch monitor as an extension to that or even you know, just using the laptop when you're at home, plugging it into that monitor and just using the monitor solely. I think it's very important to have more than two screens and it definitely, definitely increases your efficiency a ton. And the last item on my list for some of the essential things in our programming setup is going to be lighting. Now this might surprise some of you, but personally, I've never really worked in a well-lit environment until this year. And recently, I was fortunate enough to have VenQ actually send me what this e-reading lamp is and this screen bar plus here, which have actually saved me so much. This lighting is absolutely phenomenal. I'm not actually getting paid to say this. I've already done a review video on these products if you want to see them, but genuinely they make a world of a difference. These specific lamps are actually designed to make it so it's easier to look at your monitor screen. And to be honest with you, when I first heard this, I was kind of like, okay, whatever, it's just a marketing scam. But after using this lamp for, I think probably about three or four months, I can say this makes a massive difference and it just really nice to have some nice lighting at my desk. Personally, what I usually do is actually turn all of the lights off on in my room and just put on this screen bar plus light, which is kind of on top of the monitor here and this big BenQ e-reading lamp. And what's really nice about this lamp is that it can swing outwards and actually cover the whole surface of my desk. So as a student, when I'm writing a lot and doing stuff on my desk, that's not necessarily using my computer, I can really nicely swivel that lamp. So I get direct lighting over exactly what I'm doing, which makes it nice. Um, much nicer for reading and writing and just genuinely doing everything. And I think it's very important to consider the lighting that you have, whether that's buying a nice lamp or making sure that you have sufficient lighting just from pot lights or whatever it is. It's very important and it's definitely going to save your eyes and just make it much more comfortable to work at your desk. All right, so now I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the other miscellaneous items in my setup. Now I have quite a few, so I'll just kind of quickly go through a bunch of them and show you know why I kind of have those items. All right, so I want to start by showing you guys something which is really cool, which is actually this mouse pad. Now this mouse pad has shortcuts for subline text on it, which is actually my favorite text editor. You can see it shows subline up there. And it's kind of cool, I don't know, it's just like you know your standard mouse pad. I leave it on my desk, and then if I need to quickly look up some of the shortcuts for my editor, I'll just do it on this. Now they also have some options for VS Code and for other popular editors. They have Atom, I think, and all of those. So if you guys want one of these mouse pads, I actually teamed up with the guy who makes these, um, and he's giving you guys I think like 10% off. So I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in that. Now here you can see I actually have a wireless charger, which is pretty important because this is usually where I'll charge my phone or my AirPods. Um, and then, you know, a few other things like I have a speaker down here, if I could show that just a Beats pill, um, actually a fairly expensive speaker, but I really like listening to music when I program. So that's pretty important to me. Steel series mouse. I mean, pretty standard, nothing too special about that. We've got a blue Yeti microphone. Obviously that's what I use to record most of my YouTube videos. This is a quick kind of walk around of my computer. It's pretty hard to see because it's tempered glass on four sides. Um, but this is like one of the Corsair cases. Pretty nice, pretty nice cable management's all right on that. And then what else do I have? Well, I have this, which controls the RGB under my desk. So I could turn that off or I can turn that back on. A few other random things like a video micro board is right there. I also have this little personal fan, which is kind of nice because it actually will cool down the room. So you can actually take this um, and fill it up with water. And it's pretty cool from a company called Evapol. It actually sent it to me for free. I'll leave a link to their thing as well in case you guys are interested in that. And then my iPad. Now this is where I actually just leave my live subscriber count. Uh, nothing too special. A lot of people find it funny that I have an entire iPad just for that, but I got that iPad for free. So that's why I'm doing that. Um, another cool thing is my drawing tablet. Now you guys might see me use this in some videos. I actually find it really useful if I'm just trying to sketch some stuff. Um, cause I don't usually like to pull out paper. I'll just, you know, plug that in quickly and I can do a quick sketch and save that on my computer. 
So yeah, I mean, those are kind of the main items in my programming setup. Uh, another important one, which I'll grab here quickly, is actually this, which is my fidget spinner. Now, a lot of people make fun of me for having this, but I actually just like using it, just spinning it around. Um, you know, it's something nice, and I would actually encourage you guys to get one if you're a programmer, because a lot of times when I'm just kind of stuck in deep thought, I'll just kind of sit there and spin it around, and it's a nice kind of way to maybe distract myself a little bit. So I was gonna end the video there, but I just wanna show you guys something that's actually really important to me and is kind of the main way that I stay organized and stay focused. Now I actually have these boards in my room and I will kind of drag them to you here and this is where I pretty much write down everything that I need to do and just plan out my days and you know what needs to get done. Now sometimes you know I have some colored markers here so I'll like star some things that I want to do but essentially this is a really nice way for me to just kind of keep myself accountable for what it is that I actually need to finish and get a visualization of how much I need to do. And I think that's pretty important and if you guys can actually have a calendar write down everything you need to do and get that organized in a physical location to me it really helps to be able to you know knock something off the list and stay motivated and keep getting through all of that so with that being said that has kind of been it for my programming setup i'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below if you guys have any recommendations for anything i could add to this to make it even better definitely let me know and with that being said i will see you guys in another video